What's up, my Z-Stars? Welcome to Topic 1.2, The Language of Variation. This video is a quick one all about variables. So what is a variable? A variable is a characteristic that changes from one individual to another. We collect data on a variable from individuals. It could be people, places, things. I mean, honestly, you could collect variables on anything. Just think of an object, a chair. Well, a variable is a characteristic that changes from one chair to another. The color, the size, the width, the weight, where it was manufactured. Does it have padding? Does it not? Is it made of plastic? Is it made of wood? All those are variables. Now, there's only two different types of variables in the entire world, which makes it really easy to remember. Categorical variables and quantitative variables. Categorical variable takes on values that are category name or group labels. So here we're thinking words, right? So if the answer to the question, hey, what is that chair made of? If it's a word, it's gonna be a categorical variable because you're gonna go into the plastic group name or the plastic, I call them bins. Like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this chair's gonna go in the bin that's labeled plastic. This chair's gonna go in the bin that's labeled cloth or wood or metal or wicker or whatever, right? So that's the idea. Um, some common examples are, you know, dealing with people. I mean, my gosh, people have so many different characteristics about them. Are you left-handed or right-handed? There's a word. That's a category. It's going to put you in the left or the right category. Age group. A lot of people want to jump and think age is a number. It is. We'll talk about that in a second. But if you're going to label people not based on their number of their age, but hey, are you young? Are you middle-aged? Are you old? You're giving them a label. That's a categorical variable. The highest degree earned. Do you have a high school diploma, bachelor's degree, master's degree? Again, you're getting labeled. You're getting put into a bin because of that characteristic. So a big thing here is to think about words. That's what makes a categorical variable, well, categorical variable. A quantitative variable is one that takes on numerical values for a measured or counted quantity. Here, the response we're getting is a number that's going to have a unit, and it would make complete sense to average that, right? So if we think about that chair, we're thinking about the width. That's going to be something that we're going to have to measure, whether it be in inches or feet or millimeters or centimeters. It would make sense that if we had 100 chairs and we got all of the different lengths or widths, we could get an average of them. Weight, that's also going to be a number with a unit. A couple other examples are the age of a structure. Maybe we're looking at a hundred different buildings and we're going to look at how old they are. It's going to be a number, years or months or whatever it be. Height of a child. We got 25 different children. We're going to measure their height. That's going to be a number. It would make complete sense at the end to take an average of all those numbers. Salt concentration of water samples. We got a bunch of different water samples and everyone's going to give us a different salt concentration. It's going to be a number. Not quite sure what the unit on that could be, but you get the idea. It could be a lot of different things. Um, also thinking about the number of, for example, the number of Skittles in a package. How many Skittles are in that package? Oh, 52 Skittles. So we don't, we, we, we wouldn't normally think of Skittles as a unit of measurement, but if that's what it is, that's, well, that's what it is. So really Skittles could be a unit of measurement. That bag has 52 Skittles. That bag has 16 Skittles. That bag has 51 Skittles. And if we have a whole bunch of bags, we could take all those number of Skittles and get an average number of Skittles. So units don't necessarily have to be inches or feet or miles or something like that or seconds or hours. It could be the number of Skittles, the number of this, the number of that. That is a perfectly acceptable unit. So those are quantitative variables. So think numbers, quantitative, words, categorical. Now I do wanna end this video talking about a couple exceptions. Um, there's not many of them out there. No one's gonna ever try to trick you with these, but zip code is kind of a big exception, right? So zip code is a number. Depending on where you live, you have a five digit zip code associated to you, but that's really a categorical variable because it puts you into a category right? It basically is a number that says, hey, this is where that mail goes. Your mail that's going to this zip code goes into this bin. So I think about the post office, I got a bunch of bins with zip codes on them. Yeah, they're numbers, but it's really categorical. So that's one exception to the rule of numbers versus words. Um, there's not a whole lot of them. And again, no one's trying to trick you here, but just kind of be aware of that idea. But for the most part, variables, pretty simple. And the two different types, quantitative and categorical.